good sight, look at Woo! Nice. Nice little fish. I caught it. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Woo! Yeah. Real good fish, Tata. I'm just going to go out here, three men on the head, go for a bit of fish, maybe some calamari, maybe some whiting, or maybe some other species. Anyway, enough to flip flop, just get out, get a couple of fish. I see choppers already flying around, so there's reports all over the place of sharks, so anyway, I'm not going to try and catch a shark. Then again, helicopter right there, there's got a helicopter right there, you want there? On. Well, it's a big mass. It's not pulsating. I don't know if, he, if your nose is on. I reckon it could be a cuttlefish. Well, it's, it just feels good weight. Just hope it's not a lump of weed. Oh man. False alarm. Right, so I dropped it down, cleaned the jig because I had some weed. This has got to be a calamari. Yep, good one. <laughs> right on the back of the head. That's awesome. It's actually quite a small one. And it's gone for this Harry Mitsui 40 gram deep. What a small one. Now this is not too bad for bait size. Never know, I might use it for live bait later on. So, first runs on the board. <laughs> How are you, Mick? No squids? Yeah, they're all bloody fished out. They're all fished out. <laughs> are you catching any? Yeah, that's been good. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so I just moved. I, I literally didn't want to put the camera on. And about a bing, mate, it just went off. And this is a spot I've come to for a while. Is a good size one. I don't want to be greedy, but I've been at it for a while now. And just want to see if it's got a follow up. Whoops. Bit hard. Just drop him right there. Oh, he's a good size. Good size. Look at him. Woo! He's a real hook. I'm not going to worry about underwater shot. Fine oh, special mine. Oh, yeah. Lovely. That's how it's done with the Harimitsu cheek red in the summer in this uh, light. That is awesome. Woo! Ah, love it. Literally, I literally dropped that jig right on that squid. Good size. All right, so we're going to move off because the squid today hasn't really fired up. So I'm going to convert one of those squids, only the tentacle, into some fish. Those two long prongs, I really like those because they're nice and, and soft and, and the, uh, the whiting just love them. Long shank hooks here on a paternoster rig. Oh yeah. Now I haven't caught a, I haven't caught a fish for a while and this is, feels good. I hope he's not butterfish. He's not. Nice. No, oh, nice whiting. Absolutely beautiful whiting. Right, in the shade. That's me. I mean, I just love a feed of calamari whiting. Every now and then, get a few other species. Believe it or not, it's a sense of achievement. Get whiting for me. I just love it. It's actually taken me a while to locate them again. <laughs> Almost become a bit cliche. It's just one of those days where the, the fish aren't aren't here. They're not biting. I'm struggling even to get a, a whiting at my usual whiting spots. Oh look at me, how much look how much I can catch. It's not really about that. Grab a feed. Just in the time you can. Enjoy it out here. 
and um, yeah, that's just the way it is. That's the way it should be. A bit more boom boom. Bit more boom boom. Oh, that jig is going off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good one. Well, that's a good. I haven't, I haven't landed them yet, but it's a good supplement to the day. Yeah. Oh, he's just on two. Oh, give him a run. Just look at that cheek. Right in his mouth, so he really wanted that. Fine person on there. So that worked. I used in um oh I caught the butterfish and look at him drop for the water there. It's actually getting nice and clean these waters. What there he is, he's just on his uh on his, on his prong. Where's my net? You don't wanna lose these fish. Oh he's done. Oh I never saw that. I never seen the squid actually move forward. Really got scared of the net. And he's got all reason to be scared of it. He's coming home. Bloody awesome. Just when I thought things were going to get bad, they get better. And the boat. I don't even know which way the boat's swinging. Where am I going? I don't even know. I don't even know where the wind is going. It hasn't quite decided. West, southwest. Anyway, th this water just looks fantastic. And what I want to do is drop the live bait down. We're trying to attract the squid. That's what happened before. All right, so I just put this bait overboard. Look what we got here. Oh, right. I caught one of these before, very far offshore, and they're actually very good eating, but also very highly venomous. They caught a, a pikey perch. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you've got to be pretty careful. Whoa. Oh. There you go. Nice. Nice little fish. Actually very e very edible. Absolutely perla. Got the ice in the other esky. Another nice calamari. I caught a oh, oh. oh. I actually caught a, a butterfish. And it went all over the place and bada bing I got squirted and bada bing I caught a calamari. That's awesome. Hey guys, so we're gonna head off. I managed to catch um five calamari, so that's pretty good. Considering um I was giving oh, oh. oh. make that six. Oh. Woo. There's a good one too. Yeah, it's a nice one. Good one. And he went for the um, yellow lime Aramitsu. Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Beautiful. Woo! <laughs> Unload, mate. Unload. That's it. And I got him right like that. Because what they do, they grab it, see, like that, and he turns it around. Trying to do that and bada bing, that's how you hook him up right. Because right there is his teeth, his beak. So, 
that's awesome so that's six calamari sorry for that interruption got the wine whiting but you know um that's all right we'll see you home for a cook up fantastic that last one was a ripper just on cue So you can see that it's really nice white flesh. Um, I could almost fry this up. There's not much of a fillet there, so I want to put that in the sauce. I might take the eyes off too. These wines are pretty well highly sought after in the shops because they're so tender, tasty, and they're so easy to cook. On the skin, and just cut them into rings. I'm going to fillet it. Right, and that's going to go in the sauce as well. There you go. That's all the prep work. Right, a nice deep pan right here. Before I start off with this, bit of olive oil, two cloves of garlic. So I'm going to put this fish in and just braise it for a couple of minutes on the head. And a nice jar of tomato puree. Throw in some parsley. Don't need to, but this should pass to go well. Some salt around the rice. Let this simmer for probably about 20 30 minutes. You need to get that tomato nice and cooked. Oh, that's looking really good. What I want to do now is be cooking over for 40 minutes. Finish it off with the white and this calamari. And let it simmer away again for maybe another 15 minutes. All right, into the spaghetti, into the sauce. Sit there for 10 minutes. That fish is looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Bit of the small calamari. <laughs> Real good fish tucker. Yeah, it looks a bit mangulated, but I reckon it tastes all right. In fact, I'll try some of that right now. Beautiful white flesh here. Oh yeah, taste of the ocean. I'm glad it did. That's where I caught the fish from. Anyway, let's get stuck into this uh, spaghetti. Marinara is my favourite. Sunday lunch with a bit of calamari ring. Mmm, fantastic, the flavour of the seafood really came through and these calamari they really give you a different dimension in the, you know, in the marinara. Oh well, enough from me of uh, stuff in my face, hope you guys can get out and do the same. Always great to get some fish tucker for the family, later on they'll have a good feed later on. Okay, take it easy, see you next time, Don with petite, stay safe. Chicho, want some linguine? No. Good. There you go. Fish, taka, fish, taka, fish, taka, man. Fish, taka, fish, taka, the fish, taka, man.